Welcome back guys, today I've put together a recap of my journey throughout my 30 day challenge to have a quick look at how it went and my thoughts and feelings throughout the whole process. If you didn't catch the day by day vlog, stay tuned for an old school training montage. It's day one and we sub 20 minute 5k 30 day challenge and I'm out here on the time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of what I've signed myself up for, but wish us luck. Five, this was my first all out effort at a personal best at 5k. The day turned out to be awful, but I left everything out there and I give it me all. Seeing that I hit under the 22 minute mark left as positive, but also now that I knew where I was at, I had a goal to strive towards and it left as charged up for the next week's training. Easy work. Three more, let's go baby. I'm gonna have to cut that short today. I don't think I can squeeze the other three in. I'm not getting the pace I need because there's too many people down here. I made a bad decision to come down here on a Sunday. So today is the first day since I started this challenge that I've felt pretty disappointed in myself. And to be honest, I just had a really shit day and all I can do is make up for it, I guess, and keep plodding forward. It's day 12. After day 11's disappointment, this was a big turning point in my training. Something inside me just awoken and realised that I'm not ready to taste defeat and a fire just lit inside my belly and all I wanted to do was work. After day 11 yesterday, didn't go so well, didn't get the work done I needed. I felt like a failure to be honest and I didn't like that. So today, I'm going hard.
I'm out of the town more again. I fancy doing a nice fast 5k. I've got myself some new sneaks. Oh yeah. I'm irresponsible. Oh. Yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal. Oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. That's all. Conquer yeah. the option. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. So I genuinely wasn't going for a personal best today, but once I seen the time on that second K, I thought to myself, you know what, you've got this, go for it. If the last 2K has been fast enough, that's only three more kilometers, I can do it. And I just went for it. Ask us what time I got. What time did you get? 1957. Woo! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> 1957, baby! Day 16, I've already cracked a sub 20 minute 5k. I was genuinely massively surprised with myself with this result, but D11's feeling of defeat had lit a fire inside of us. All the hard work paid off, and it was just meant to be. By this point, I have to admit, the fire inside had doused itself massively, having already completed my goal, but my confidence in what I might be able to achieve had risen massively. The only thing growing as fast as my confidence by this point was my anxiety of the final day. So I tried to get in an early strong finish, but it didn't exactly go to plan. Bad news, I fucked up really bad. I should have waited till the night. I was, I was well over on every lap. By halfway point, I was 24 seconds behind, 20 minutes. <sighs> I messed up. I've stopped halfway, 2.5k. This is it. Final chance to redeem myself. Day 28 was a low blow. It was my 32nd birthday. I had this grand idea. Everything was gonna go perfect. I was gonna smash in an early personal best. Everything was going to go fantastic and 
absolutely everything went wrong. And I mean everything. I put 28 days worth of hard work into this final run. I ran the fastest run I've ever run in my life. And my tracking didn't work and I had no way to prove it to you guys. So it really hit us where it hurts knowing that I was going to have to come back and do it again. After I had left literally everything out there, I had nothing left in the tank and I gave it my absolute best. But everything happens for a reason. I didn't give up. I soldiered on and I came back two days later for day 30. Now today was my real final deadline. I was still absolutely committed and dedicated to getting a good sub 20 minute time, but I had lost the momentum and morale that I had carried all the way through to day 28. So I knew today was gonna to be hard work. So it's day 30, the penultimate final day of my 30 day challenge. And yes, I meant to say ultimate. The nerves were getting to us. Back to the time war. Town war, Richard. You're not in the river town right now. Wake up, you got this. Um, conditions aren't really ideal. It's wet, it's cold. Uh, wish us luck. Time is oh, it's been a hell of a journey. I'm just glad that I've smashed in 20 minutes in the last 30 days. I've smashed it four times now. It's been a long, hard road to get to this sub 20 minute. If I'm honest, it was more difficult than I anticipated. I knew it was going to be hard, but, but hopefully. I've taught you guys watching me that no matter where you start from, if you set a goal and you work hard and push towards it day in, day out, every single day, you will make it. The only thing that holds you back is effort. Put in maximum effort in everything you do and no matter what, you will get it. It also helps to have, have some nice support from friends, family. Speaking of which, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to my brother Gaz whose positive attitude and high energy helped me get out of a rut I was in and inspired me to take on this challenge in the first place. He helped us push myself on days when I really didn't think I could. I think surrounding yourself with the right people with the right energy is crucial for your mindset. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Love you bro. And to my beautiful and patient partner Lindsay who was with me every step of the way and of course was my camera woman for most of the shots and my three daughters because after all I couldn't possibly feel in front of them and let down their adorable little souls. They helped motivate me to show a good example to them. And last but not least, every single person on YouTube that's liked, commented and subscribed. I've massively appreciated the support. This is just the first of many challenges that I plan to do in the future and make many more vlogs and videos. So stay tuned for future projects coming up and don't forget anything I can do, you can do it too. After all, I'm just an adventurer like you. I was meant to meet my me family, yeah, but they're not here. Three, two, one.